Thanks, Nicole. Last night, millions of Americans watched the first of three presidential debates. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and Republican candidate Donald Trump squared off in a much anticipated conversation. And as expected, the night was full of surprises. Let me say, hey, hey, there's nothing crazy about not letting our companies. The Donald Trump money. we've gotten to know over these past few months is a Donald Trump we saw last night. As the debate progressed, he seemed to be more willing or more frustrated, perhaps, uh, to to override and overstep when when Mrs. Clinton was speaking. Dean Charles Bierbauer was among the 100 million voters tuning in to the debate on Monday night. The former senior Washington correspondent for CNN thought Clinton performed stronger than Trump. She was very much in control. She had uh, an abundance of information and what, it, what certainly sounded like solid policy statements. And that didn't come without preparations on her part. I think Donald just criticized me for preparing for this debate. And yes, I did. And what the candidates said and did during the debate will set the framework for the rest of the election season. The first debate leaves the strongest impression. If you've done well, then you build on it. If you've done poorly, you've got some repair work to do. And it seems Donald Trump's frustration got the best of him. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. Based on what we saw in debate number one, Donald Trump has more work to do to get ready for debate number two. The next presidential debate will be a town hall format and will take place on October 9th at Washington University in St. Louis. Reporting from the newsroom, Shannon O'Connell, Carolina News.